Okay, the Gray Pyramid seems to have intended to be 280 royal cubits, but we don't have that top stone on there now, but that seems to be the intended height. And then the original width, based on the casing stones, is 440 Egyptian royal cubits. These numbers are well known. Now the current top right there is, uh, we'll picture it from a top view here, is 28 Egyptian royal cubits on a side, okay? Look at that's one-tenth of the height a symbolic number the Egyptians would use, so it's symbolizing the height. That current side is symbolizing the height. And if we take the in-circle there, the circumference would be 88 royal cubits. So if we take two sides of the Great Pyramid, 440 plus 440, it's 880 Egyptian royal cubits. So again, you've got one-tenth symbolized on the top. And so you have both the height and the, the base, and the base was meant to be a circle symbolized on the bottom. So here's what I say the Great Pyramid saying to us. Check it out.